Hi guys, Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 35 of Project Bundesliga where we are trying to take Tasmania Berlin all the way back to the Bundesliga where we spent one season in the 65-66 season and broke the record low points of 8 points for a season that's never been broken ever since. So, yeah, things things have been a bit interesting. Uh, we're playing Neustrelas who are 4th, we are 2nd. If we go to the schedule, we were last year for the FC Frankfurt game, which we, we won quite convincingly. We played uh, Zellendorf and we drew 3-3. Three, three. And Kasper Krasinski, remember Kasper Krasinski because he is vital. I'll, I'll talk about him in a minute. Michael Planser, the youngster who made his debut last um, game in session. And Daniel Yuzadowski, the legend that is the man. And then we followed it up by a 5-1 win against Skonberg. Flynn Butcher got a hat-trick. He was absolutely unplayable. Andrei Startsev, who got the penalty. And I think he's slightly better at Yuzadowski than Yuzadowski at penalty. So I'm quite pleased that he's taken on the mantle. And the Henry Kamal, the Amrel, who is unhappy, but... He's coming up with a vital winner. Eh, well, it wasn't vital. We were well on top. The Naive got a one back once we'd went 5-0 up. So, yeah. So, as I said, Krasinski, remember this because we go to the squad status. Krasinski's unhappy. And he's really unhappy. Go to overview information. So, he's unhappy because I promised to strengthen the side. And I have strengthened the side. We're second in the league. But obviously not enough for him. And then I told him, don't be silly. We're second in the league. We're doing well. This is your teammates you're talking about. Let's get on about it. And now he's complaining he's struggling to settle in the area. And now he strongly opposes me and he hates me. And I don't know what to do because he is pretty good. As you can see, he's probably one of my better defenders. So now I've got a problem with defence. In terms of transfers, we've signed two players. Manuel Brunner, who looks a bit of class. He's got lots of things above 10. He's looking, he looks okay for an attacking midfielder, centre midfielder. Just because we're playing five all round that midfield area, we kind of need more uh, midfielders. And then Brent Werner, He's another young 18-year-old centre-forward attacking midfielder can play on the right. So, yeah, he's, he looks okay as well. But that's not enough for Krasinski. So now, we go to team selection. We've now got a problem. Because do I play Krasinski, even though he's unhappy, or do I take him out of the team? And it's a winning team at the moment. This is the problem. Fisher's injured. Unfortunately, so I think we'll get Brunner straight in for his debut. But yeah, this is this is the problem here. I just don't know whether I want to play Krasinski or not. We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, Akko Mid's going to come out. We're going to put Yuzadowski up front. And we're going to go for it again. Ideally, I'd like to kick him out the side because he's only been here nine games and he knew, he knew the, we weren't, how strong we were. I, I don't know. Part of me just wants to put him right out of the club. The other part of me thinks, well, give him some time to settle down. But it's right at a vital time. We're playing the fourth place and the third place to teams in the league. And we've just got a settled side. And uh, Ronnie Jaeger, our uh, right back, he's left the club. Uh, he was unhappy, got an offer, he was on a non-contract. I'd be really glad to get these non-contract, uh, get up the next league and get rid of these non-contract players because people come in and they just leave. But we really needed Jaeger because then I could have kicked Krasinski right out of the club. If he'd had time, I could have moved Start save into the middle. 
and it would have been everything would have been alright. Still going to be alright, but we're five points behind Borussia Tennis Berlin. Oh, and Trap gets booked every single game, and Kuzinski's in. Oh, I'm a bit worried with him being unhappy, he might try and get sent off deliberately. There we go, Krasinski with the ball. Yuzadowski. Oh. I don't think he's as clinical as Amrail up front. Boots to man more. Pressured. Amrail and Krasinski with two players that are unhappy. Yeah, he's off a boot. Right, not much has happened that half. Hand over to assistant. Pleased with how things are going. The Australians have really, really um, up to recruitment. Zadowski, oh, he's not going to get there. Panzer, he's been the find of a season really in the youth side. Nicholsfield, the chair. Trap. Kaczynski, up top, the chair, really need him to get a hold of the ball and do what he did the last game, hands up, the chair, trap, Brunner, oh, unlucky, good for this, Brunner, the chair, and use a Dowski over the top, was that offside? No it's not, well done. As you can see he's only scored two this season, we're well, quite far into the season. He's normally scored a few more by then but that injury took him out for a few games. And praise him. The Australians are probably the best team in the league. How are we getting on? We need to make a sub. Let's keep it going. Yeah, the first person that hits. Oh, what a save! The chair, make a sub just to break things up. He's playing really badly. Amrell's playing badly. Panzer's playing badly. Get Stetton on for Panzer. There we go. Dart saves struggling, but he's class. Yeah, it's another sub in a second. Okay. Use a Dowski off. For Akomed. I'll make another sub, try and break up the play. And this day. Start save for Kostrati on. And that's it. Surely. That's a massive win. Over Whistle Ref. Good man. That. That is a vital win. I want to see if you were at all, we did well. So yeah, so despite Krasinski's best efforts, we've won. So I think playing him was the right decision. He's, but we've only got three days until the, the next game against Adelsdorf. And Adelsdorf are, are the surprise package. Well, we're the surprise packages, but they're the surprise packages as well. Keeping, keeping third, we just can't get rid of Adelsdorf. The last couple of seasons, they've just been right behind us or right in front of us. 
And yes, we've cut the gap to three points. Excellent. So that is pleasing. Right, so we'll be back for the Adelsdorf game next. Right, so we're back for the Adelsdorf game. Start save is suspended, so Diderich's going to have to take over the right back. And everything else is, well, usually Dyshby looks like he's struggling. I don't know whether to take him off and put Ackermid on and I can bring Yusudowski on. I don't want to lose Yusudowski for any longer. Everyone else is looking, they're all in 90s, so I think we can all just go again. Did really struggling with sharpness, but I don't have anybody else that can play right back. It's I wasn't planning on I lost the Jaeger right at the end of the transfer window, so give a good run. Let's go. It's Krasinski's stress, these Hopefully he doesn't throw a few in. I don't think it matters what I say to Krasinski, he's not going to be happy. I'm not quite sure what he thought he was joining, maybe he thought he was going to Australia or something. So you've got Goferich, who's motivated, and Krasinski sitting beside him, it's apprehensive, so... Give her weight. Yes. Yusudowski's on the bench, it's not very often you... Oh, the traps <laughs> been booked again. Every game. I think it was one game this season he's not been booked. It's this tactic we're, we're going to end up with um, more suspensions than anything. But as long as we've got the players to cover it. He's making a lot of mistakes, but he's playing in a different position, so we can't be too critical. Oh well, that was an exciting first half. Keep going what we're doing. Right, let's talk to them. Don't need to make a real difference. Um, make a difference. Well, let's guess. Let's make a difference. <laughs> I think we'll see Yusudowski shortly. The chair. Oh, he's dangerous from everywhere. A man more. Not much happening. The 60th minute of Brinkhouse. He wasn't very good for us. I was half expecting him to get the winner of the day. Let's get Yusudowski on. Embargo. Oh, that's a kick and a half. I'm real. What a control. Don't lose it now after a wonderful bit of play like that. Runar. Oh! That should have been a card. Oh, Brunar. Oh, and his first goal for the club. That's embarrassing, that is. Oh, sneaked in, stole it off him. I thought it was going to be a, a counter. Right, we've got some players struggling, but we'll just keep going. If we go a wee bit lower, we'll have to come off. We'll do what we did before the last game, just try and break up the game with well-placed subs. Cows, Danza, 
over the top. Oh, saved by embargo. Collector's piece. Oh. I thought we cleared that. Denerecht, Amrel. Oh, he's been dispossessed again. Oh, sneaked in. He's a dice key. Right, sub to break it up. Trap off. Staten. Oh, beautiful. Sub. Who else is left? Just right eight. Let's see where we're going. For Bruno, six minutes. And the chair's getting sent off. Go. Patty midfield. Castrati. Unreal. Out to Castrati. Cross it in. Brech. Oh, your dice key's not there. Oh, that was an exciting game. Keep talk. Well done, lads. That was a good win. Oh, that was. <sighs> Lovely. Let's look at the, the table. Oh, and we're equal with points, but we've got a game in hand. Oh, that was that was good. I can't take that anymore. Right, let's have a look at the schedule. What we'll do is we'll come back. Right, we'll play the next, the next two games, and we'll come back for the Barlow Ben and the Crouse Show. Oh, wait a minute. We'll play the next three games and come back for the Crouse Show and the Tennis Berlin. That's what we'll do. Oh well. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.